About a week ago I bought this Anycubic Mega 3D printer. With the intent to print custom enclosures and buttons and all sorts of things for my synthesizer builds. But why stop there? Of course I can also print other interesting things. Like this solenoid steam engine that I designed in Winx 3D. Though I've already printed several benchmarks and other small tests, this is the real deal. So let's get to it. Since I'm still a noob to 3D printing, things are bound to go wrong. And well, here's the first mistake. I had my settings wrong, so the print didn't adhere properly to the bed plate. So after almost 5 hours, I had a print that was stringy and a flywheel which had a big bump in the bottom. I used the failed flywheel to practice my painting skills and to see if I got the right idea for the colors. Turns out I didn't. In case you were wondering, I'm using bronze filament by 123 3D. It's of the Jupiter series. It's pretty nice. After several tweaks and trials, my print started to come out real nicely. It was working out really well, and I gotta say I'm really impressed with the print quality of this 3D printer. It also has a really big bed and print volume, which is nice for, well, things like the base plate of this uh, engine, which just about fits. I had not thought of designing it that way, that this was pure coincidence, so I got really lucky there. Okay, all the parts are printed, time to put it together and see if I need to change anything in the design. Since I wanted to challenge myself to make the engine as much as plastic as possible, I didn't want to use bolts. So instead I made these little knobs so I can align the parts as I glue them. And this works out really well. They do need a little bit of filing and sanding, but that's alright. After quickly test fitting the rest, I decided to start painting. Green and bronze isn't exactly the color scheme I was going for, so let's change that. Okay, that's most of it finished. Time to start putting things together, see how it works out. There are some minor issues, like the magnets not exactly fitting the piston, so I need to change things a little bit, but overall pretty good. I changed and reprinted the piston and the coil holder and yeah, they fit perfectly now. The magnet fits perfectly and the piston fits perfectly in the coil holder. It's very smooth, so I have a good feeling about this. So I assembled most of it and checked if it still was smooth and also if the piston travel was smooth. After all, it touches quite a few surfaces, so I need to see if they align properly and well, it's pretty perfect. Now here's a little lesson in trickery. Just use a piece of filament as the axle between the big end and the cylinder. Works perfectly. Just needs a paint job. Of course the solenoid engine also needs a coil. So I made a little Lego coil winder thingy magic. And I completely wound it wrong. So uh, I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes. So much later when I already had finished the engine and spent 30 minutes wondering why it wouldn't work. I rewound the coil, as it should be. Two coils, one on each side of the magnet. Of course the engine still needed some finishing touches, some little details and uh, detailed paint jobs and all sorts of stuff. Well, and I had myself a pretty nice little engine. But of course I still need to test and see if it runs. However, as usual I had quite a few issues with the valve design. I made it too complicated. It went through a few iterations till I finally settled on this. Just a hole in the slide valve through which a wire goes which touches two other wires which are held in place. Simple. So after that lesson in keep it simple stupid, here she goes. Okay, before I run this at full speed, I'm gonna add a little PTFE spray to keep things cool and from melting. I also added a big multi-turn variable resistor so I could tame it a little bit if I so wished. Well, here we go. Yeah, that seems to run all right. And I can change the speed quite easily with the variable resistor. Time to demonstrate the engine in all its glory. Enjoy.
pretty happy with how this engine has turned out. Definitely not bad for my first 3D printed solenoid engine. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next one. Bye bye and take care.